Welcome back to our video module on dynamics. In our last video, we looked at position of relative coordinate frames to a fixed coordinate frame to identify how to relate the two. Today, we're going to expand that concept and take a look at velocity between relative coordinate frames. So I'd like to take today and revisit our previous problem of the merry-go-round. So let's, uh, let's copy this and uh, paste it down here and we're going to let's go ahead and erase this orange line and uh, fill in the circle but this time around we're going to give the merry-go-round some sort of angular velocity and I'd like to know what is the velocity in the fixed frame well, if we look at it, we know that in the moving frame, in the moving frame of reference, the velocity is zero. The point P is just sitting there. And we know enough about this type of problem that the velocity in the fixed frame, or the velocity of point P with respect to O, is going to be omega cross R. So we see for a rotating coordinate frame, the velocity is pretty simple. So this is the influence of rotation on the velocity of relative frames. Next we can imagine that we have our fixed frame x and y and we have our relative frame some other frame of uh, reference right here we call it x prime and uh, y prime and there's point p just like in the merry-go-round example however it's not spinning but what it is doing is x prime and y prime are moving with some velocity here. So the question is, from the stationary frame of reference, what is the velocity of point P? Well, the velocity of point P is going to be the same as for everything else in the primed coordinate system. So in this case, the velocity of P with respect to O is simply due to, is simply equal to the velocity of O prime with respect to O. So in other words, what is the relative velocity of the origins of the two coordinate frames? This is the translation influence of velocity. We can combine these two together. Let's say, uh, I don't know, in, in teal. And we see that the velocity of point P with respect to O equals the velocity of O prime with respect to O plus omega cross position with respect to O prime. And if we wanted to feel that out a little bit, we could scroll that down and you can imagine a uh, fixed coordinate frame. You have some sort of velocity vector due to the velocity of the coordinate frame. And then in addition, let's say, uh, let's say in green, this velocity is right here. In addition, you have some velocity due to the rotation of the coordinate frame. And what you're left with is the overall velocity, which we'll do in teal right here, right there. And that is, uh, we could label these, that's the velocity of P with respect to O. The yellow could be the, uh, the velocity of O prime with respect to O. And of course, the final one is the velocity of P with respect to O equals omega cross R. And in this case, the translation and rotation velocities look like the right angles. But that's purely a result of the sketch. They could be anything. In summary, we see that the velocity of a rotating coordinate frame consists of two parts. One is the translation or the relative velocities of the um, primed coordinate frame and the fixed coordinate frame. And the second thing is the uh, rotation of the primed coordinate frame. I hope this gives you a basic working knowledge of the velocity between relative coordinate frames, how to calculate it, and what it means at a more intuitive level. I'll see you on our next video when we take a look at acceleration.